thank you so much for joining me on this quick video today. I am experiencing a wonderful cloudy day and that is when I bring out my complex fowls to enjoy some fresh air and to give them a once over regarding pests and do some pest prevention maintenance so that I don't lose my fowls again. Like last year, I lost my fowls, two of them, to these little critters. I don't know if I can show you properly. Where is it? Wrong leaf. Let's go into this leaf here. Eh, there is scale in there. Already tucked away in the crevice by that spike right there. I've already sprayed this down with garlic alcohol. So that scale should be dead. And then I was just going to proceed with getting it out. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to do a quick video, what I do about pest prevention so that I don't lose this fowl, which is called Alexandra because it was my daughter's first fowl ever. And that is why I just switched on the camera and said, let's do this together in hopes that maybe I can warn someone that it is the season. Look at this, you little creep, you. It is the season, at least in my climate now, for these. Thick brown scale. And it should be dead because this morning I went around and sprayed with garlic infused alcohol, after which then I misted the roots as well because I was concerned about desiccating the roots. Alcohol is great for scale and pest prevention, but it would also desiccate roots. So I always missed afterwards to wash off any of that alcohol and I don't wait. Now another thing that I have a big big problem with but it's a good thing. Happy sap. Happy sap is wonderful. It proves that the orchid is doing well. It's hydrating well. It's happy in the setup. This little orchid is called Sweetheart because my daughter picked it out and it is a proliferous happy sap producer as you can see, I got lots of it. This looks like a lot, but this orchid gets wiped down every three days. Otherwise it would be a sticky, sticky mess on the back of the leaves. The reason I'm wiping it off is because it is a mealy bug magnet and I don't need that in my life either. This happy sap is just perfect for mealy bugs. So if you see it, embrace it, your orchid is doing well. But make sure that you wipe it off, get rid of it. It is not going to affect or hurt the orchid to do so. It's going to protect it from mealybugs. I do apologize for my resident spider in there, but he is very, very welcome. The thing with Phalaenopsis is normally we say, do not wipe the underside of the leaves. And that is true. But if you do it during the day, the stomata is closed. So there's not a problem about clogging them up and just wiping that happy sap off and keeping the back of the orchid clean. Meanwhile, destroying somebody's home. Uh, he can work on it again. You see my spike, how it came through the spider web? <laughs> I didn't think this orchid would bloom this year. It's a bit late on the spike, but hey, better late than never, right? But yeah, during the day, it's okay to wipe happy sap off the underside of the leaves. I would not do it anytime close to sunset and make sure that there's enough of a breeze going on as well so that it can dry out. And it is important for me and my climate to do so with an insecticidal soap link to a video I did about my pest preventative measures for 2021. I will leave in the description below where I identify the insecticidal soap, its components, and this is how I apply it on the underside of my Phalaenopsis that have happy sap. Now I only have this one that is so much of a happy sap producer but it has to be done in my climate here and with this orchid almost every third day. Otherwise, literally, it produces so much of the stuff 
that it actually drips onto the shelf that it lives on. Which is weird, but hey, every once in a while you get one of those. So it's not a problem if you can maintain it, wipe it off during the day and keep those mealybugs out and away from your fowls. That is what I do, quick video today. Don't wanna to take up too much of your time, but I, in case somebody sees this and doesn't recognize it for what it is, everything's okay, panic not. Your orchid is fine and it's clearly getting enough hydration. And I hope I didn't now destroy that root tip because of the abrasion against the leka. I'm going to just mist through that and give it another little bit of a clean break so that that piece of leka didn't do any damage, I hope. But yeah, very, very quick video today. I hope that this was helpful. I'm going to go around now and wipe the leaves off of all of my other orchids as well with this insecticidal soap just to make sure that I have a preventative measure for any possible attacks that might come in future and I am not on top of it as much as I would like to be. If you have any questions, I will link that product in the description and I have the US equivalent as well linked for the Amazon if you want to have a look at it. And I have the video also linked where I describe what its components are. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope that your fowls are blooming beautifully for you. And if it's not the fowls, that everything else in your orchid collection is going well. Thank you so very, very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please take care and stay safe. Bye.